Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Interdrone 2018 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm talking to Sean Kovics here at the Gem Systems booth. How are you doing, Sean? Very good, thank you. Uh, pleasure. Thanks, thanks. Now, you guys make magnetometers, and why don't you, I mean, I'm aware of that like a metal detector I walk through at the airport, but what does that mean in this context? Magnetometer is used for potential field methods. It's a near-surface geophysical method in which one would image the subsurface. Specific application would be mineral exploration, oil and gas exploration, pipeline detection, archaeological studies looking for small artifacts in the near subsurface, but the big one now is UXO, or unexploded ordnance. So well, that's obviously a real humanitarian thing, a minefield left over or aerial bombs that didn't detonate. So where is this thing being put to work? Uh, all over. It's an international sort of uh, initiative worth working with either surveyors or large, large organizations. But these are so lightweight, I guess you can put them like on an M600 or something. Correct. We actually have three solutions in which we can offer. The drone mag total weight is 1.8 kilos and that's including a battery. So it's a self-contained instrument. The Airbird is 3.6 kilogram total solution. Aerodynamic housing, laser altimeter, IMU, 2.4 gigahertz radio links, your data is being transmitted in real time back to your base station. And then the large gradiometer that's behind us is a total weight 8.5 kilos, battery included, with all the bells and whistles. The Airbird here is like 3 kilos, so you could lift that with like an M600. I mean, a big, but nonetheless, a, a drone which a lot of people own. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the, the beauty of our instruments, is that we wanted to offer a product in which anyone could integrate into their currently owned UAV platform. They didn't have to go out to purchase something new. It's uh, it's quite remarkable. And then the second thing you said was that this the really big tall guy by hearing this here is a gradiometer. How, how does that differ? from the magnetometer. Gradiometer actually has two magnetometers affixed on it. So it has mag one and mag two, and you're actually measuring the delta D or the change between the two, hence the gradiometer configuration. And then how is that more useful, I assume, than the one? Uh, you're picking up very small, minute changes just because you're measuring the actual change between the two sensors. So I see you've got this laptop set up and hooked up to the gradiometer here, so that's working? Yes, absolutely. So can I get Tekkenstein to wave his, uh, wave his Leatherman around? We'll see how it works. <laughs> Absolutely. You'll be able to see the anomaly which is generated. And that is really cool. So I guess the final question is, obviously you don't going to find these in your local drone shop, but if somebody has the need for this sort of technology, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, you can visit our website at www.gemsys.ca, G-E-M-S-Y-S.ca, and you can contact any of us and we'd be more than happy to you know, provide any type of solution which you have for your problem. And then if you can give me just a broad price range on these units. It ranges anywhere from the small one, 17500 for our air Bird is 55,000. So essentially, that's complete turnkey solution, and the air grad will essentially run you just lower less than 85,000. That's complete solution. That's base station, laptop, software, and all the hardware in which you need to have for surveying out of the box. Well, and what, for what you can do, like you say, you're hunting for minerals or you're hunting for landmines or bombs. I mean, those are not unreasonable prices. Right, absolutely. All yeah. right. Well, Sean, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Pleasure. Thank you so much for stopping by. Absolutely. And from Interdrone 2000. 2018 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, Sean.